of Woman in Salt by Gabriela Garcia. And this would be my pick to fill the category of a Latin American author. Um, this is the daughter of uh, the Gabriela Garcia, the author, is the daughter of immigrants from Cuba and Mexico, and this heritage informs her focus in this novel. Uh, the story begins in Cuba in 1866 on the plantations and among cigar rollers, where the seeds of rebellion are being sown through readings of Marx and Victor Hugo, among other articles that are leaking through. Here, a lineage of women begins, um, begins with the daughter of Maria Isabel. Flash forward to 2014, there's quite a leap, uh, where we meet Jeanette, the youngest generation of this line, a recovering addict and daughter of Carmen, one of the first wave of Cuban immigrants, a more well-off class on the surface, but Carmen has family secrets to reveal. When we meet Jeanette, she's watching her neighbor being taken away at night by ICE officers. Um, that's Immigration and Customs Enforcement and watches the house the next day when a young girl returns home to an empty house. Jeanette takes the girl in for a short time, but ultimately turns her over to authorities. This begins the other, the other um, parallel story of Gloria, the woman who was taken away, and the girl's mother, um, and the immigration crisis in general. Uh, Garcia's writing is masterful, and her lyric prose, lyrical prose is engaging. I was swept along by the stories of the struggle of each of, the, each of these generations faced. These stories should absolutely be read by everyone.